on uh, uh, I've seen a, a, a tremendous improvement, especially in this area on crime. And when I first came here, there was, uh, it was even word that the sheriff's department was even scared to go over here to Haywood. And I don't know if you heard, but I know you heard that before. Uh, and and I, I commend you on, on the improvement of crime in this area, the solving of it. But my main question to get to is response time. <coughs> response time is very terrible. <coughs> I can give you an easy answer for that one. Our response time is our closest deputy. Uh, actually, you opened up uh, something I could step into. Last year, we were dispatched. When I say dispatched, that means a call comes into the dispatch center, and we are dispatched. It may be a phone call. We may drive 30 miles. We may drive one mile. It can be for a break-in. It can be for a cat a tree. It makes no difference, but we were dispatched over 32,000 calls last year, 32,000. I've already checked the numbers. We're going to be right at 38,000 this year. If you do the math, it's about a call every 15 minutes. Uh, we've added deputies in the past eight years, and I'm sure we'll be adding more. But on the road tonight, if everybody's, if everybody's healthy, nobody stumped their toe last night, no one's sick. I've got seven officers out there at 707 square miles. So that tells you right there, if something's going on bad, two officers have got to go to that call. So two officers right now are 20 miles away and something happens. Absolutely. I don't like that response time. But right now, that's what dictates my call. My, my calls dictate my response time right now. Okay. Could you please explain um, the need for the new jail and, and as a follow-up would you also please explain your assessment of the gang situation in this county okay uh the detention center we uh we've done a good job work this is a pandora's box really uh the jail was built in 1982 for 51 people last september we had 68 in a 51 bit facility Sounds simple, but then you have to break down the male, female, the misdemeanors, the felonies, people awaiting trial, people the sentenced. There's a lot of there's a lot of things that go into that right there. We are at capacity right now, 51. We're usually bouncing off 51, 49, 55. Anytime it gets overcrowded, it's dangerous for my my people that are working in the detention center, and it's also dangerous for the inmates that are in that. Because you know, if you've got somebody bunking beside you, they don't put your bunk beside you on the floor and you step on them. It's potential for something bad to happen. And plus the population is increasing, thus uh, uh, the bad guys are going to be coming in even more. So we're at the point now we've got to have a new detention, a new detention facility. And we're in the process now actually. Hopefully within three years we will have uh, a new facility in the county. Uh, moving on to the gangs, we have gangs. Um, I would say the, there are different points in the county. Uh, gangs are, are, are mainly urban, I would say that. So they like the little places where they can walk two blocks and get somewhere. Um, I would say where we have most of them is in the Silo City area. The ones on the east side of the county basically drive in from Durham, Wake County, whatever, but most of the time they don't have driver license or whatever they have a hard time moving around in a rural area. So that, that's good for Chatham County, right? I'm not complaining. That is good because it keeps them from walking and so forth. We do have, is it bad as it could be? No. Do we keep our hands on as much as we can? Yes. We do presentations, work with the school system very much so. Um, matter we work a lot with the school system and, and, and keep an eyes on that right there to, to, if it happens in school. We see somebody flying the colors or whatever, we take them off and so forth. I just want to thank you and commend y'all for coming to our shows that we put on our food, food pantry for the children ID. It was very much appreciated. Thank you very much.